Welcome to Leviton Contractor Connect. The content of this podcast is for informational and educational purposes only. The opinions expressed by the guests do not necessarily represent the views or opinion of Leviton. Leviton does not make any representations or warranties with respect to the accuracy or applicability of the information. Hi, welcome to Leviton's Contractor Connect podcast series. My name is Tom Degden and I am the Contractor Channel Manager at Leviton. It's my pleasure to welcome ETA Director Marty Riesberg and ETA Strategic Account Manager Wayne Brown to the podcast. Wayne and Marty represent the nation and the world's largest electrical training organization, the Electrical Training Alliance, known as the ETA. So if anyone in the audience is interested in an exciting and rewarding career path, stay tuned. This podcast even applies to electricians who might want to take their career to the next level through an ETA apprenticeship. Welcome, Marty and Wayne. Thanks for having us here, Tom. Thank you, Tom. So let's get right into it. Who is the ETA? So the ETA is the Electrical Training Alliance. You may have known us in prior years as the National Joint Apprenticeship and Training Committee, but we are essentially the training arm of the IBW and NECA across the country. So the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and NECA, the National Electrical Contractors Association, we provide the training for those organizations and their apprentices. Very good. And uh, just for the uh, interest of our audience, I want to point out there that there are other good uh, training organizations out there. Just in the, uh, at Leviton, we, we support all the uh, training organizations, electrical training organizations, and a few of them, the IEC, Independent Electrical Contractors Association, and then uh, smaller regional training organizations throughout the country. Uh, so let's get right into uh, the bottom line for somebody interested in pursuing a career uh, with, the, or, or with the IBEW or ETA uh, training. Uh, what does it entail and what compensation can they expect? Well, what's offered is an uh, uh, inside wireman program. It's a five-year uh, program, and um, the student will come on uh, as an apprentice. And uh, after five years upon graduation, uh, they become a journeyman. Um, and all during this training, uh, they're paid to go through the process, um, meaning that when they graduate, they're not indebted to anyone. It's not that they owe any college uh, tuitions or anything, but they're paid on the job as they go. Uh, benefits are fantastic for them. Uh, and I can attest to as three of my sons oh. graduated uh, about 12 years ago. And as of last year, uh, are in business for themselves as they've moved on to wow. uh, have their own industry. That's terrific. So you mentioned your sons. Um, in general, who are good ETA candidates? Who would a good uh, person watching on uh, the podcast today, what, what would be a good, what would make a good ETA candidate? That's a person that's either junior or senior uh, or any of our returning uh, veterans uh, are eligible for the program as well. Uh, in, or anyone who just wants a good career path in the uh, electrical industry um, is, is wide open to all in that, in that respect. Specifically, how is the ETA curriculum structured? You mentioned five-year, but uh, you know, how, what else can you tell us about the structure of the ETA program? Yeah, let me expand on that a little bit, Tom. It, it, we do have different types of programs. We, we've got a commercial sort of industrial electrician. That's what Wayne mentioned. That's the inside program is a five-year program. We've also got you know, what some people may call low voltage. We call it a telecommunications program. That's a three-year program. We've also got the guys that you see out there on power lines and, and working on everything, getting it to all the buildings. That's what we call the outside industry. That's also a three-year program. And we have residential as well, guys that work on, on nothing but houses and, and apartment buildings, guys and gals, I should say. But Certainly, we're, we're broke up into those types of disciplines, and you decide which type you would like to be as, as far as which of those programs that you'd like most to go into as you enter. Very good. Let's take a quick break for a moment, and we'll be right back with our conversation with Wayne and Marty. Leviton recently introduced Decora Smart Wi-Fi second gen controls. The line includes a dimmer, switch, and mini plug-in switch and dimmer. These devices complement the existing Leviton line of wireless Wi-Fi products. They don't require a hub and install just like traditional devices. All Decora Smart devices are easy to program and control through any smartphone. 
The second gen devices work with the My Leviton app and are compatible with Amazon Alexa, Hey Google, Apple HomeKit Siri, IFTTT, and more. There are two new wireless anywhere companion dimmers and switches that can be installed anywhere without wires for easy three-way and multi-location control. Check out the entire line at Leviton.com. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, I'm Tom Dagley with Leviton and we're talking about electrical training with my guests Marty Riesberg and Wayne Brown of the Electrical Training Alliance. Gentlemen, where do IBEW journeymen typically work? That's a great question, Tom. You know, it, it, by far our largest program is that commercial and industrial program. You know, we, we have by far our largest numbers there. And probably our next largest would be that outside line program where the guys are out working on the power lines, supplying power to people. And, and then probably our telecommunications and residential come, come down from there. It's all really centered, though, on the type of work that's going on or the type of work that that NECA contractor does. Very good. Uh, the person themselves, the, the, the rank and file, tell us what it means to be a union installer. Yeah, I think it's, it's important, you know, having been one myself, it's somebody that, that really likes at the end of the day to see the work that they've done and see something stand there. You know, something that, you know, it's, it's different from sitting at a desk all day. You can actually see your progress at the end of the day. You can drive by the building. You can say, look, I helped build that right there. There's always that sense of pride in what you've worked on and been able to, to do throughout your career. No, that's terrific. How does the ETA IBEW model differ, differ from the neighborhood electrician that we all know and relate to? Yeah, I think the IBEW, NECA, you know, sort of family, the Electrical Training Alliance, I think there's probably more people living down the street from you that are a part of these programs than you really realize, because you don't necessarily understand. You may see that they're going work for ABC Electric or XYZ Electric. And you don't necessarily know, are they a part of the IBW NECA family? Or are they working for somebody else? You know, in many cases, though, as I said, more often than not, we're on the commercial industrial buildings and don't do maybe quite as many of the residential or the service call sort of stuff. It's just, again, the market that that NECA contractor happens to uh, do their business in. That's great. That's good information. And for the people uh, listening and watching today, I just want to point out that if you want to get a, a really good feel for what the uh, uh, IBEW uh, guys typically do is they have a uh, what they call the IBEW Power Hour TV newsletter. And you could just Google that, go on and do a, a search. And you could, uh, it's different videos as they have many of them and it shows what uh, different types of work that they uh, do. And quite frankly, it's pretty entertaining. I've watched many myself and, you know, you see guys uh, getting out of helicopters, working on those overhead lines. And it's, uh, it amazes me every time I see those. But I just want to point that out as a good resource for people listening today. So uh, next question. Um, I want to point out that getting into the ETA program is not a slam dunk. I mean, to do electrical work, you know, there's some math skills that are required to size wire or electrical apparatus correctly and safe, safely. What other qualifications are necessary to become an ETA apprentice? Yeah, that's a good point, Tom. It, it just because somebody wants to get in doesn't necessarily mean that they will. It, annually, we get in excess of 100,000 applications per year. And there's about, you know, depending on the year, maybe between 6,000 and 12,000 people that get in. So they're certainly not a slam dunk, to use your point. But really, the only two requirements are, you know, a math, you know, passing grade in algebra, and you have to be over the age of 18. Other than that, there are no, and that's Dwayne's earlier point, that anybody at all that wants to, to go and work with their hands and, and maybe work out in the elements, those sort of things, they're all welcome. That's terrific. Okay, so uh, now that the audience knows the rewards, the buy-in, how would they apply? And what's the first next steps for, for somebody interested? Well, and, and I think to your earlier point, Tom, I, I think whether you go to IBW Hour Power or you look at Electric TV or we actually have a, a site, you know, constructyourfuture.com, go out and find out about these trades and, and learn about that. And as you do that, if you wanted to get in specifically to the electrical trade, you know, there's other trades that you could look into, but there are training centers. There's about 285 training centers across the country. Go to our website, theelectricaltrainingalliance.org. There's a map on there. Find your local 
training center and, and just go in there and make the application. Wow, terrific. As a leader in the electrical industry, Leviton is a proud platinum partner of the ETA and we support their program and training centers across the United States. This concludes today's podcast. Wayne and Marty, I'd like to thank you both for joining us. Thanks for having us. We're proud thank to work with Leviton. And thanks to our audience for joining us too. Our podcasts are structured as a quick listen. We invite you to check out other podcasts, which can be found at leviton.com slash contractor connect podcast. Bye for now, and we'll see you next time. Attention electrical professionals. Join the Leviton Pro Rewards Program to start earning rewards for your smart product enrollment. Sign up today and receive 100 free bonus points. Visit my.leviton.com slash pro to get started.